Kennedy in 21, Williamson in 24 in your front row. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy 20 trips around the Knoxville Raceway because race fans, this is what you saved your lunch money for. We're green on night number one of the 360 Knoxville Nationals. Thomas Kennedy and Garrett Williamson swapping the top spot as they race into turn one. Corey Day sideways in three and four, one and two. We keep it green as they go three and four wide off of turn two. The battle for the lead continues as they race around. Who will lead lap number one? Kennedy on the outside mats it down and he's going to lead a lap Number one of the Buffalo Wild Wings, number 21, the 24, Garrett Williamson, switching her down to the bottom, still trying to get the run. Sam Hay for Team Junior in that second spot, trying to close in on your race leader, Thomas Kennedy, in turn number four. But here comes Hay for Team. Your race is for the lead in turn one, side by side for the lead. Hay for Team across the front of the end of the 22, down the back straight away. He'll take the lead. Here comes Kennedy back to charge. Kennedy tried to look to the inside for a moment, thought better, but went back to the cushion. You saw him roll right back into the tire tracks of the 15. Keep your eye now on that third, fourth, and fifth battle. Starting to all come together. Selzy on the inside. Jeniton had a run to the top. Wasn't able to hold it, though. Jeniton just not able to get by. Gio Selzy. Oh, trouble on the first straightaway. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Man. Alex Vandervoort getting the five spun around to bring out the caution. That thing is laid down hard on the right side. As a work up at turn number four, the green lights will come on single file between the cone and the wall. We're back underway. Kennedy gets a good start as Hayford team leads him in at turns one and two. Garrett Williamson through the middle of turn one. He'll take the second spot away from Kennedy. Kennedy back to challenge as they work down the back straightaway. Boy, Hayford team had to wait on the car for a little bit. So did Garrett, though, as he brought it up across the racetrack. Kind of got hung in the center. The 21 just about ran through the back of him. Now Kennedy going to set sights back on him. Geo Selzy now moving by Thomas Kennedy for the third spot. Kennedy back to fourth. Williamson on the top. Selzy now down low, side by side off of turn four. Garrett Williamson trying to fend off the charge. Selzy now to the cushion in turn one. He'll make a run to the top in turn number two. But Williamson strong on the bottom as he exit down the back. Street. Now here comes Selzy. Huge run at the exit of turn number two, like he's shot out of a cannon. Hot sauce going to take over the second spot, but does he have enough to reel in Hay for Team? 1.982 seconds last time of the start finish line. One lap to go. Half a mile remains for Hayford team. On to the back straightway. He will have a trio of slower cars ahead of him, but he's got breathing room as they work into turns three and four here on night number one of the 360 Knoxville Nationals. Off at turn number four for the 60th time in his career. He will top the Lucas Oil American Sprint Car Series. Sam Hayford Team Jr. wins night number one of the 360 Knoxville Nationals. Geo sells. He comes home in the second spot. Third goes to Aaron Reitzel in car number eight. Fourth to Garrett Williamson. Come on, folks, Sam Hayfetti Jr. Careful of that wing, those things are expensive, mate. 